You know them as the stars of American Chopper, but when did Paul Sr. first work with motorcycles? How did OC Choppers start out? And who is the self-professed weirdo in the Tuttle family? Keep watching to find out. Before his American Chopper days, Paul Tuttle Sr. was in the Merchant Marines. He joined when he was 18 years old and this time helped to shape his attitudes in both work and his personal life. He has held a love of motorcycles all his life, but work and family obligations sidelined his passion until he was finally able to start building motorcycles in the 1970s. He worked at his business, Orange County Ironworks, for nearly two decades before leaving to start Orange County Choppers in 1999. In 2020, Tuttle moved Orange County Choppers from its original headquarters in New York to Pinellas Park, Florida. He also now owns a themed restaurant in the area. I don't want to start crying. <laughs> I think everybody remembers Gus. Yeah. So I have a lot of pictures of uh, Gus there. Regarding the change in location, Tuttle spoke with WFLA, saying, Where I'm at in my life, it's time for change, and you feel the freedom in Florida. You don't feel it so much in New York anymore. Though he is known for his detailed motorcycle designs and builds, Paul Tuttle Jr. wasn't always into motorcycles. Because of his father, Tuttle was surrounded by motorcycles as he grew up, but he was more curious about construction in general, as well as playing sports. When he was 12 years old, he started an apprenticeship at Paul Tuttle Sr.'s steel business, OC Ironworks. His love for motorcycles did not properly begin until his late teenage years, around the age of 18, when he got his first motorcycle. Prior to American Chopper, Paul Jr. worked in the steel business for 10 years, but he didn't design bikes until he began work on the show. Tuttle recalled to Biker Swag, I then had the opportunity to have creative freedom with building motorcycles. Only then did I realize my God-given creative abilities and started really exploring what I was capable of. As of 2022, he manages his own company, Paul Jr. Designs, which specializes in custom builds of motorcycles. Mikey Tuttle was a self-described weird kid growing up and always felt out of place. When he was 12, he started working for OC Ironworks, following in his brother's footsteps. In an interview with Jim Benson of TV Time Machine, Tuttle indicated that the kind of work at OC Ironworks wasn't really for him, saying, I just never took to it. I couldn't take it. I think ironwork is one of those things that's either in your blood or it's not. He further described himself as a wimp and being far too soft for the roughness of the steel business. Instead, he wanted to get a spot on Saturday Night Live and pursue a career in comedy, with dreams of doing stand-up and other comedic ventures in his sights. When Tuttle was 20, he moved to Tempe, Arizona, hoping to enjoy a change in environment and lifestyle. This was short-lived, however, and when Tuttle moved back to New York, he went straight back to work at OC Ironworks. Seeing that he wasn't a particularly good fit at the job, Paul Tuttle Sr. offered him a secretary position, handling paperwork and general office functions at OC Choppers, and that is the Mikey we grew to know on screen. I mean, I could lean on the guy, but I don't think it's going to do very much other than get him to not like me. Me, which would probably hurt my feelings. As of 2022, Tuttle mainly lives out of the spotlight, but does appear on his dad's Instagram from time to time. Growing up, Vincent DiMartino was close friends with Paul Tuttle Jr., with the two living in the same town and going to school together. DiMartino's love for building and all things automotive started when he was nine years old and was constantly in his dad's auto repair shop. By his teenage years, he worked at an engine repair shop and continued to pursue his love for building and repairing motor vehicles. By that point, according to DiMartino's bio on the Paul Jr. Designs Facebook page, he was rebuilding cars and motorcycles and pretty much anything else he could get his hands on. DiMartino began working for OC Choppers in 2002, shortly before the reality show took off, although he ultimately left in 2007 to start his own business, V-Force Customs. As of 2022, DiMartino is the owner of DiMartino Motorsports and mainly focuses on auto repairs rather than custom designs and builds. As a kid, Rick Petko was always surrounded by pretty much anything with wheels, from dirt bikes to go-karts. His love of these vehicles was inspired by his father, who loved choppers and had a hobby of painting motorcycles. Petko's interest in building also started young, when he broke too many of his bikes. Rather than buy new ones, he had to figure out a way to fix them. It was during this time that he bought his first welder. Upon graduating high school, he worked as a crane and cold saw operator in a steel service center in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. He also studied welding during this time. Petko started working for OC Choppers in 2003, eventually leaving in 2016 to dedicate more time to his family and nurture his passions of fabrication and custom metalwork. As of 2022, Petco lives in the Pocono Mountains in Pennsylvania and is the owner of RPD & Co., which specializes in custom chef knives and custom wedding bands. Originally from Pennsylvania, Nick Hansford's career began when he attended the American Motorcycle Institute. 
After graduating from AMI, Hansford stayed in Florida to build his career and skills at Pompano Fats and Daytona Choppers. Hansford met Paul Tuttle Sr. at Daytona Bike Week in 2000 and quickly became a part of the OC Choppers company as a bike servicer and Southeast distributor. Just two years after meeting Tuttle, Hansford relocated to New York for family reasons and ended up working at OC Choppers as a mechanic. As of 2022, Hansford is married and lives in Virginia with his family. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.